Okay, so for those of you who don't know or have an actual life, uh, there's a big drama going on YouTube. I kept seeing this name pop up over and over and over, these two names. James Charles and a woman named Tot, Totty, Titty, whatever her name is, I don't know. And I had no idea why this was a thing. There's news articles and like people, entertainment news, you know, fake news, you know. These are people who are like, they look really good, but they don't have a brain in their fucking head. So they're like, let's make them an entertainment journalist because, you know, they can sit there. And even if they can't read, we can like go behind them, shove our thing up their butt and, you know, kind of puppet them. So I was like, who is this James trying to look like a, you know, a big flaming gay guy. It's like, great cool and some you know really pretty uh woman I actually thought it was the woman from full house that got into trouble for that cheating scandal i kind of thought it was her for a second i was like is aunt becky in trouble again she can't stay out of trouble she's fucking paying for college admissions for her little bratty offspring and now she's doing something involving the charles james by the way wasn't charles james or whatever his name was wasn't he a black blind singer didn't jamie fox play him in a movie oh it was ray charles oh, okay but who the fuck am i looking at here so these two are in some big feud, but they're um, influencers. And it's it's a big thing in the influencer world because they are they can't influence people. They, they're trying to influence you to give a shit about which influencer to believe. First of all, I have a huge problem with the term influencer. Means no talent. No talent. Means you have nothing to offer whatsoever. I know, I know. They do. In this case, James Charles is like a 20-year-old, 21-year-old, you know, guy who does makeup and loves makeup and puts makeup on and great you know he's good at it apparently i don't know then there's aunt becky that's what i'll call her tati or whatever and i guess she puts makeup on too and that's why they're famous and they like to make videos and put makeup on other people and then tell you what makeup to buy thus making them influencers I mean, okay, influence me to give a shit about your channel because I don't give a shit about either one of their channels. I don't care who's right, who's wrong. I don't give a fuck. I tried to get in this. Trust me. R ride with me on this for a second. Okay. So I was like, I'm going to find out what's going on, you know, and some people, who do you think about it? What do you think about it? I'm like, I don't know who these two motherfuckers are, but I'll go find out. I thought it was going to be like, you know, this, you know, I invited James Charles to my house and he set my poodle on fire and I'm like, stop it, James Charles. He's like, shut up, bitch. And he just started like break dancing on my poodle and then he picked it up and he beat my husband with it. And I said, no, 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 no. Here's what, here's what I got out of it. And I'm probably completely wrong because I could barely care about this, but it was kind of amusing to me. I just have a few observations that's it so like i said james charles was friends with aunt becky uh tati this woman who does this channel and she's apparently well liked and she might as well wear like a halo around her head like she's never done anything wrong in her life ever she just looks sweet and she looks like a nice lady i don't know i don't have anything bad to say about the woman she's you know married and she's first of all but let's back it up a little bit they're millionaires let me say that again they're millionaires like a few times over each one of these motherfuckers her and james charles for what for fucking what? For being an influencer? This is why the world is fucked up. This is why the world is fucked up right now. I'm not saying I'm an influencer over anything, but if I could be like, you know, I am working at a fucking shitty sex store. I could be like, you know, this dildo is the best dildo ever. Let's try it out. Hey, homeless guy, I got five bucks over here and some vodka. Bend over and take... Look, he loves it. He fucking is digging this. You should buy this. Are they going to pay me a bajillion dollars? Because I'll fucking do it. I'll grab a homeless motherfucker right now. There's a viaduct around here somewhere. Uh, so Because they love to sleep under viaducts. It's just what they do. <laughs> It's fun for them. They're like they're they're naturalists. They don't even want a house. So fuck them. Don't give them a dollar. They they love it. Uh, God, I'm like the worst person. So, okay, back to the drama. Here's what I got. The drama is each one of them has made a video about it that's getting a bajillion views. And this James Charles, whatever he is, is losing sub counts. Fucking huge. Like he was up to like 10 million subscribers or something. Like daily, he's losing like a million. And I'm like, what the fuck did he do? Well apparently he's just a shitty person he's 20 by the way he's 20 anybody who's 20 years old is pretty much a shitty person when you look back at yourself when you're 30 or you know 40 you know and you look back at yourself at 20 you're an idiot you, you just kind of realize like i was pretty much an idiot i'm not saying there aren't some 20 year olds out there doing good things but there's some stupid shit they're doing like i'll look back at myself at age 64 if i live it fucking long and be like oh my god it was a nightmare i'll delete all these videos probably so better save and download them to blackmail me with in the future but <laughs> I like I, I I so he I guess took a deal that competed with Tati's company 
and then just started shit talking her and his nation of angry fags kicked up behind him and you never want to get them pissed off the nation of angry fags like if steve gets his fags pissed off it's over i don't care how tall you are i don't care how many weights you lift i don't care whatever you will run you will run crying i guarantee it i've seen a drag queen whoop somebody's ass you don't want it you don't want to fucking you don't want to do it i know you oh, I don't give a fuck, fucking fags. okay all right say that shit say that shit over by them you will get your ass beat so him and his nation of little, but they're like the the really annoying gays, like the super ones, super annoying gays. They're like twenty years old. They have the bleached hair, and they're just all about drama. Like every five seconds is drama. Here's her mistake. So she befriended this kid who was making a YouTube channel, and he's like, "I just love you. I think you're the best person on the planet. I want to suckle on your teat." And she's like, "Oh sure, I see no problem with that." Problem number one: you saw no problem with hooking up, not hooking up like sexually, but befriending or helping somebody who was seventeen at that time. A 17-year-old kid who had no money. Red flag. Big red flags everywhere. Like, no, don't, don't, don't. He's probably an opportunist. He's probably just looking to get some of your, you know, game or drip as the kids call it or whatever. And fucking, you know, just suckle off of you. That's what he's looking for. And the first opportunity he's going to get to go on his own and stab you in the back, if he has to, on the way to get to go on his own and make a lot of money, he's going to trample over your dead body, bitch. So the fact that she's stupid enough and didn't know that, I don't feel that bad for her. Like, I'm, if some 17-year-old came up to be like, I want you to nurture me. I want to just do what you do and be a raging asshole on YouTube. I'll be like, I don't trust you. Get the fuck away. I will beat your little ass right now. I don't trust Yeah, okay. I, no, no. I'm watching you now. You should have never let me know that you cared or liked me, or thought I was somebody. Like, you should have never thought that, because now I gotta worry about your ass. Matter of fact, I'm gonna hire somebody to kill you so I don't have to worry about your ass. I don't care if you're 17 and home alone and you got no money. I don't give a fuck. So, she befriended this James Charles guy, and then she flew him out for her wedding husband. Were you around for any of this? Even she says in her video, she's like, first of all, I gotta talk about her video. She comes on, she's looking really pretty and gorgeous. She's a gorgeous woman. She comes on there and she's like, so I just, you know, I didn't really want to do this because this is an influencer and an influencer and I'm going to influence the way I influence. Every morning I influence myself to shit. I see asshole, can you please poop for me? And I'm such an influencer. My asshole goes, Rrr! I don't know why her asshole talks like that, but I'm going to imagine for this video it does. Yes. It's, okay. Mm, it's a nice little potpourri poop. I poop roses. So <laughs> she sits there and she's like, yes. And I never thought this person would hurt me in a million years. And I didn't want to go public with it. But then that's fucking nasty little homosexual went public with it. I'm like, oh, hell no, girlfriend. I have receipts. I have receipts. I thought she was going to pull actual receipts for like shit she bought. I'm like, I don't, that's a thing now. Receipts. Like I, I brought the receipts. I brought the receipts. Okay. That's your proof. You brought your receipts. All right. How about same proof? That's not good enough for an influencer. Probably just to influence you to use the word receipts because she gets money off it somehow. So she goes like this. She's like, and, um, you know, I flew him out to my wedding and I found out he was very hurtful. He was very, very hurtful. And I, there were little things along the way. Like, you know, he was, one day I was in my kitchen in my beautiful, luxurious mansion. He's like, I'm going to be just like you. And I'm like, you should do your own YouTube channel. I'll help you. I can't pay for the hotel room at your wedding or pay for a flight out there. I'll fly you out there and you can just do my makeup, bitch. Hold up. Hold up. If I was her brother or somebody, what? What? How do you know him? What, was he just a student you mentored? Did he survive... A fucking war? What? What is it? Wait, he's an influencer who wants to learn how to do your YouTube game. No! No! Tell him to suck the dick for the money and then fly it to your fucking wedding. He could do my makeup. You're dummy. You're, she's dumb. I'm sorry. She's not all there. I'm just going to say it. So, but she's a nice person. So she came out there. I mean, he came out there and, you know, he's in, and she says one partner video. She's like this. I couldn't make it through a whole video. I don't even know. I'm going to admit right now. I'm not fully prepared for this video. I don't know all the drama. I could not bring myself to give a fuck because it sounds like dumb bullshit to me I, and she's 30 plus years old why are you in this i know you got to clear your name when somebody said something about you but okay just clear your name be like listen he's a kid i'm not rocking with him anymore i'm making more money bye 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 that's it that's all i gotta say about it she made this whole diatribe about it like <laughs> and then you know do i look like a victim enough okay wait, let me smear my mascara and i just really loved him like a little boy it's like he came out of my room i could almost feel it like one day james Charles was at my house and I tried to shove him in my womb so I could actually give birth to him. I'm like, oh, and I pushed him back out. And he's like, stop it, crazy lady. Don't put my head in your pussy. And so she is basically saying that he took some deal behind her back, but I guess shit talked her. And then he's got disturbing behavior that I guess she never really noticed or it wasn't a problem for her to notice until he backstabbed her monetarily. Okay, that's, that's all well and good. But her husband said at one point, like, you do know you're like being friends kind of with a 17 year old. She's like, no, I just hoped that one day he could grow up and that he would, you know, cause a lot of the stuff that he did like sexually harass straight men into thinking that they're gay. I mean, it was just, I thought it was like everything a 17 year old gay boy did. I didn't know any better. And um, yeah, I just love him. 
So <laughs> she's and her husband is the only voice in reason to me. And this what he's like, uh, you know, I, I don't know about this guy. And then I guess it got to a thing where she's claiming also not only did he like, you know, fuck her over in some like by like going to some competitive place where she would not get money. Honey, you already have four million dollars. How much do you want? Jesus Christ. Whatever. So she was pissed about that. And then I guess he just has gross behavior. And she's like, I can't say everything. I do have the receipts, but I'm not going to show them. And um, there's DMs. It's all really, I don't think I can ever be friends with him again. And I, I can never watch my wedding video again because I will always see him be reminded. First of all, you're not going to be married forever. I'm just going <laughs> to, uh, you'll be divorced in five years. I'm just, it's uh, your husband. If he tolerated this much, he ain't got, his patience is this thin right now with you. This thin with your idiocy on like who to trust and who not to. I, maybe she's a great, great getting person. But at some point you have to go to a great getting person. Wake the fuck up. Everybody is even, if I showed up at her door and said, I want to do makeup now. And I think you're the shit. And I don't know how to even draw a straight line, but I like you. But. I cannot afford this brand new Lexus that I just purchased knowing I would meet you and you have a bunch of money. Uh, can you pay me and I'll just like draw on your face or something or I'll slap your titties around or something? I don't know. Anything you want. I, like if she all of a sudden, oh, Jay, it seems like a lost soul. He's a big loser in his 40s. Oh, let me help him. Come on in. I Immediately, even I would be like, lady, wake the fuck up. No, I'm, I'm bad for you. Don't know. You have a husband. Go, go fuck him and count your money. I don't know. Just stay away from me. But... She didn't do that with his James Charles. So now James Charles made a video about all this and he's just like, first of all, he wiped up all of his makeup like that to cleanse the sins or something. He's one of these guys who does makeup. He's got like always like this really wild boy George-ish type makeup on. He's doing other people's makeup. He did like Iggy Azalea's makeup and you know, he ignored that she had a fake, big fake fat ass and all this stuff and her little ghetto accent, even though she's Australian. I don't get it. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> but she got some cool songs and he's out there and he's like, um, so he took off the makeup for his video and he's got like, his hair's all fucked up and shit like that. And he's like, I just want to say sometimes the truth. It doesn't really matter what it is. It just matters whose feelings are hurt. And you know, he's like plucking up Hugh out to try to make himself cry. Like, and you know, she just really was a pretty important person to me. And I'm so sorry I hurt you. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm losing sons. Oh my God, I'm only 20. It's all over for me. I had everything. This dumb bitch was believing everything I said and now I'm lost. Oh God. I mean, this is about people's emotions and feelings. I don't know what is wrong with these two people. I don't know why this is trending. I don't understand why people are covering this shit, including myself. But people ask me about it, so I'm going to say something about it. So let me just wrap it all up because I'm getting tired of talking about it even now. Like, I don't really know what the beef... Oh, apparently, he does this thing where he hits on straight guys all the time. He basically was, you know, really being sexually aggressive to, like, a waiter and a couple other people. But, like, you know, everybody's gay for a price. And he likes to turn out straight guys. And everybody's like, oh, my God, that's horrible. And, you know, not everybody is into dick sometimes or something like that. I agree with that. I agree that, you know, he shouldn't do that. If somebody goes, you know what, I'm about pussy, I'm about dick, leave me alone. You should just back off. And he used to insinuate, um, what's her name? Um, I'm already for t uh, Tati's husband might be gay or something like that. Uh, you know, I bet I could turn him girlfriend. Kick him out of your house at that point, bitch. The first time he said it, I'd have dragged him out of a little faux hawk of his and get the fuck out. You say that again, I'm gonna whip your fuck. I'm gonna go to you. She says she lives five minutes from him. Take a pipe and visit him. Shit, take a fucking place. What the fuck did you say about my husband? Say it again. This is going to go up your ass sideways. Not the way that you like, all right? So don't fuck with me. She needs to get a, she needs to get a little hood in there somewhere. I don't know. So, I mean, it's just insane to me that... So he's, I guess he's being aggress sexually aggressive and weird, which is, I'm sorry, I'm going to say something controversial. Not that uncommon when you are 20, 20 years old and a male or female. I'm going off on several different tangents here, but I'm just saying what I'm thinking and fuck it. If you don't like it, turn the fuck off. I don't know. But um, I've known women who've done stuff like that. Not insinuated someone's gay, but, you know, I've had girls pull up next to me who were probably legally blind and drunk out of their mind and thought I was okay looking or something and whistled or said something lewd to me. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and my feelings weren't hurt. Like, you can always tell somebody to fuck off. Whatever happened to just fuck off. Like, somebody's making you feel uncomfortable, fuck off. Now, if they're in a power position or they're, you know, like, touching you and stuff like, okay, it's time to get it cracking and do something about it. Go to the police or just beat their ass. I don't know what to tell you. But this little victim mentality is starting to really bother me. Like, these waiters and other things couldn't have said, seriously, go to your boss. Say this motherfucker keeps saying I'm gay, wants to touch on me or something like that, or any straight guy who he's bothering, don't fuck with him anymore. Call somebody up and say, yeah, I'm tired of this little fucking motherfucker bothering me all the time. Now, having have said that, I used to say that I used to believe it was primarily gay, straight, and bisexual. It was kind of bullshit. Then I met Stevie. I'm going to tell you something really fast that kind of relates to this. As far as the James Charles or Ray Charles, whatever his name is, thing. Hitting on straight guys repeatedly and, and uh, in hopes that you might get them to do something gay. 
I've seen it work. I have seen it work. Not like going up and grabbing them or anything like that. There has been people I have warned Stevie about like, seriously, I don't I think you're fucking barking up the wrong tree. You got to stop making these little comments to this one motherfucker. Not that he's sexually harassing because they never said, hey, dude, seriously. No, dude, stop it. He Then he'll stop. But the, I don't know. Nah, you know, nah, I'm good. I'm good. But he's done it more than once a few times to the point where I got worried they would beat his ass or something like that. Until I've seen him wandering away with them and then coming back with a look on their face they didn't have before and it was a look of satisfaction followed by embarrassment and whenever they see me doing this shit like oh hey how you doing oh, 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 oh what, what happened oh, what's what's new huh so straight guys if you're really d not down with the d at all don't give a motherfucker hope don't don't start but well you know you could just jack it off a little bit or something like that you know nobody's looking okay oh that's great you know sometimes a mouth's a mouth i've heard a guy I never in my life thought would even remotely look at a guy i say i don't want to put with stevie on blast or anything my friend tb um may have done something with that person who i may have walked in upon something like that when they thought the store was closed and they forgot that the door was open and I saw something and was like, holy shit. And now this person that I have known for years and years and years and never thought would go that way did something that way. I can't be sure exactly because I didn't see an actual act, but I, I saw something. It, it was my own Vietnam. Leave me alone. I'm recovering. I'm it's PTSD. But yeah, so if her main gripe, and you can tell me if I'm wrong because I didn't watch her, I couldn't watch her whole video. It was boring. Her video was so boring. I wanted her to cry and start throwing shit and be like that James. I'm a fucking fucking fag. I'm so fucking pissed at him. Ah! And just start, her start punching her own titties because she's so angry like you're fucking King Kong and the shit. They're like, ow, I forgot I have breasts. Oh, that's going to bruise. That is going to bruise. No, nothing, nothing interesting. She's just sitting there. And if I hear the word influencer out of her mouth one more fucking time, I'm going to introduce the influencer I have in my pants to her fucking influencer, which would be her mouth. That means I would try to give her more sex. Oh, I'm sorry. I sexually harassed. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Metaphorically, metaphorical oral sex with money because she likes money and has a lot. Not make her a whore. I'm saying all kinds of bad things. I don't know. But so she's, there's a 30 year old woman, 30 plus something year old woman who's good with makeup, has a husband who's in the motion picture industry, is in the motion picture industry. Then bitch, get in a movie. Go, go and get in a movie. Stop fucking around with 17 year old ne'er do wells who fucking hop off a plane and say they want to be you. Fuck it, that's got all about Eve shit with that motherfucker. All right, so what? What are you surprised? You surprised a seventy-year-old who didn't have a fucking a pot to piss in tried to get your game and then backstab you the first time somebody waved a bigger check in front of him as something that well, it's gonna compete with this bitch, fucker, fucker. Here, give it to me. I'll take it. And then a young gay guy who's full, of, you know, who's young, dumb, and full of cum, as they say, is like hitting on every straight guy, gay guy, whatever they can, and saying inappropriate things. <gasps> no. No, how could he? It's not like he's a dude or anything like that underneath it all, right? I mean, fuck it. But uh, I'm not excusing, like I said, if he's grabbing or he's being way out of line, fuck off, say fuck off, fuck off doesn't work. Go to an authority, or if you don't want to do that, slap the fuck out of him. That's that's the end of the story. That's the end of it. He, he, he weighs what? I mean, soaking wet with rain, he probably weighs about 90 pounds. I'm pretty sure you could pick him up and just throw him away like a fucking piece of garbage if he annoyed you. I'm like, seriously, I think you go gay for pay. I think you go gay for pay. You just shut the fucking, put him in a bag, twist him up, put him in their cycle bin and get it over with. And so there's this big drama that I don't understand and everybody's following. Like they have live sub counts and she's gaining subs and he's losing them and everybody's, <gasps> and I'm like, aren't there wars happening? Like I, I, there's time for levity and everything, but this isn't even funny. It's just dumb. I don't, but I've spent damn near 20 minutes on it, so hypocrite. That's what I think of the whole thing. I don't even know if that made any sense. But again, I was asked, so I'm just putting it out there. Ray Charles, James Charles, and Tati, I'm never going to watch your channel. I wish you both luck in life. I hope, James, you get all the money that you can. Yeah, stab some more people in the back. Here's what you do now. Find another woman who's not that with it, but kind. Uh, say you want to rehab yourself, like get a better image. And then once you get a really good opportunity to stab her in the back and take some of her game, go for it. Fuck her. Fuck her. She's that dumb. She deserves it. Now you, honey, Tati, come here. Come close to Jay. Come, come, come close. Okay. Focus on your husband. Focus on the fact that you have a lot more money than anybody in their life. Most people in their lives probably ever will have. Be happy. Realize that you were kind of dumb for letting a 17 year old into your life as somebody you can nurture, have your own kid. If you can't, I don't know if she does. 
you know, put all your issues on them, not on some 17-year-old. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to fuck up your own kid, not hope for the one who's already mentally damaged and deranged and looking to get your game. So, uh, get over it. <laughs> it's nothing big for either one of you as far as I'm concerned. I mean, he's losing subs. <clears throat> Count your money, dude. You still have got, you're 20 years old and you've got like, what, you're three or four million, maybe five million in the bank. Be happy. Invest. Take up a side job and just watch the money grow in a, an account that'll high interest or whatever. Interest bearing or stock. I don't know. I didn't say graduate. Whatever. But that's my take on the... I keep wanting to call him Ray Charles. James Charles versus Tati thing. And if you want to see her video, go watch it. Especially if you want to go to sleep. Because I tried to get into the drama. I'm like, ooh, there's going to be drama. It's going to be drama. And she's just sitting there and, you know, for the first 10 minutes, it's just her saying, you know, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this. And I loved him. You know, I was, he was like a son to me. And I thought I could nurture. And I didn't want to bring it out into the public. But then I did bring it to the public. And then I went to two gossip sites just like he did. Because he went to some gossip sites. And I never met this one person who's talking shit about it. It was just like, <laughs> honey, get to the part where he chased you around the house with a fucking dildo that was on fire. I want to hear that part. Is there anything like that? No, then I'm out. I got I to gotta go. So that's my take on the situation. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm barely awake right now.